NextGenWalkthroughs.com What's up everyone, it's Rebel Inc. And this is Borderlands. Alright, so uh, in this video, or next series of videos, we're going to be doing the uh, Shock Crystal Harvest. And it is located, uh, well, that's Firestone. And that's where you jump, and it's located right here. It's called the Lost Cave. So, in this next series of videos, we're just going to be collecting these um, shot crystals. They, um, they're really hard to miss because they make a lot of noise, and uh, you got to actually shoot them to collect them. Every batch contains five, so make sure and um, you know when you're collecting your crystals that you're getting five at a time. So obviously we just gotta collect about f uh, ten of them, ten batches, and then we'll be done. But uh, this cave's pretty big, and some of the enemies are uh, are a little tough. Well, in this video I'm a level 17, so as a level 17 soldier, um, it's not. It's not so much that uh, enemies are really tough; it's that they throw a lot at you, at you, and you're having to defend all sorts of uh, angles and whatnot. So that's what kind of makes it tough. But if you're level 16, 17, 18, around there, um, um, you should be able to complete this mission without dying. So here's one of the uh, harvests. Dealing with dealies. Just shoot it. You can melee it, but it just takes forever. And then pick up the five crystals. And what this does is it's gonna. We're harvesting an element. Oh, excuse me. That we're going to use on our uh, element weapons. So anytime we have a, a weapon that will. That shocks people, or has a shocking bullets, whatever. Um, it's gonna enhance those abilities. So there is a fire one element too, and just as you imagine, there's a there's all sorts of missions for uh, some of the elements we're gonna be using going forward. So these are something you definitely want to collect. Before moving on, moving on to Doll Headlands, and really, um, you can always go back, but might as well get it for really right. So I love this gun, but the only thing I hate about it is as it shoots bursts. It shoots um, three bullets at a time in bursts, right? And you have 12 in the chamber. So you only get four shots and you gotta reload. And the reload's kind of long. So, otherwise, it's a really, really good gun. Oh, yes. In the next video, or or the third video. I'm not quite sure right now. But, um... The, uh... We're gonna be rescuing another Claptrap. And that's another main reason that we're doing this mission before we leave. Because there's only two Claptraps in all of Arid Badlands. And, uh, one of them... We just, we just did in... Sledge's, uh, safe house. And the other one is in here, in the uh, Lost Cave. So, so there I'm trying to, trying to um, see if this is one of those, um, what do you call it? One of those uh, 
missions where it'll actually show you where certain things are with the I can't think of it. Um, you know where the actual objectives are at and um, it doesn't so again it's just giving you the general direction or the general area you need to be in but there's plenty of um, shock crystals in this cave so I wouldn't uh, worry about um, you know lo looking at your map to death to make sure you you're running to each one they're really easy to find You can spend a lot of time doing this, um, comparing and contrasting weapons you have in your inventory. Which is why rescuing the traps, uh, the clap traps are so essential, because they give you um, so much more room in your backpack. It maxes out at 42. Um, and, uh, you know, we're definitely gonna go find them all, too in the series of videos. Um, once I complete the game and find all the clap traps, I'll probably do a, a what do you call it video. A montage video on how to find all of them. How and where to find all of them. So I was reading um, in this forum about this kid who was uh, who's power leveling. So you know that's uh, and often in the RPGs people like to exploit the, the leveling up system as much as they can. So uh, all it means is that people are finding ways to level up as fast as you can by exploiting uh, things in the game that allow you to do that. So, I read in this forum that this, um, well, this guy claims that he he went into an Xbox Live match and didn't do anything, just sat there, and the other three people ignored him and just kept playing and uh, advancing through all the missions. And he started off as a level one and then became... Within about four hours, he was like level thirty or four, thirty or thirty-five or something like that. And then he did it again, and he was level fifty without firing one bullet. So, um, yeah, if you want to give that a shot and piss some people off who <laughs> that need your help and you're not playing with them, then uh, knock yourself. Alright, so this is the uh, end of this first video. Um, in the next video, we're just going to be continue on, continuing on into the cave. So, see you out there. Peace.